Okay, this is Swagger Swearing at VideoGames.com and Velvet Assassin, Mission 10, and here is your mission briefing. Another man in France was authorized for assassination, Colonel Alfred Kamm. He was considered the most important mind in the German military intelligence. Kamm pursued the resistance mercilessly. He'd almost wiped them out. I had to eliminate him no matter how. Cam and I had one thing in common. We always carried out a mission to the end. But this time, only one of us would succeed. It was not difficult to find Cam's unit. One only needed to follow his bloody trail. The manhunter and his pack spent almost every night in an unsavory inn called Le Boeuf. Twice the caution is called for in the nest of collaborators, but there is nothing that cannot be achieved if one is skilled enough. Okay, mission 10. Uh, just three missions left to go. And uh, they do get harder and more complicated, especially uh, to go for stealth kills. There's a guy not really paying attention. Oh, in the crotch. That's got to hurt. That's just, that's just not a good way to go. Okay, so these missions, these last few missions, you're going to be doing a lot more, uh, you know, Whistling, sneaking around, and I'll, I'll let you know when, because I don't have that sound up. As always, be sure to check out swearingatvideogames.com for the latest guide and the latest updates. Just gotta wait for that guy to start going back in. Okay, we sneak up and get him. Head back and get this guy. Then we want that morphine, and you'll see why in a second. Got to let them have their little conversation first. Be nice if there's a way to take a nap in game, get some health back while they're doing this. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a one two hit. I'm going to get this guy, which the other guy is going to see, and then immediately go into morphine and take him out. Then head downstairs. Grab the letter, don't forget that. And then uh, hit the lever to start the crane. You get a 
turn on the crane. And there you go, your cross. Pick up the SS uniform here. And then uh, we're going to the left, and you're going to want to change into the SS uniform. Because we need to go around these two guys, and they they path pretty close. Just it's real close here. You you can't even get all the way up to it because you see the line there. Get that, and then uh, go back out and change into your stealth outfit, your normal clothes. And then we're just going to leave those guys. You can shoot them if you want. There is a health kit there. Just keep close to the wall because uh, they, they will see you a long distance. And now for the, the longest stealth kill in the game. Found this guy about two miles down the road. Do 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 do. And there's that guy. Okay, and there's another little area you got to be careful with here because that guy. Um, it looks shadowed, but that guy will see you if you're just in the great area. So wait for him to turn around. And then hug the wall here. And uh, you want to be on the uh, left side of the car where I am here. And then we got another little conversation to go through. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'll just set this up when they go. Uh, again, this is a close path, um, so you know you want to get this guy right away because they, the timing is not 100% right. They're not going to move at the same speeds, so if you don't get them right away, it can be tough to get around. Now you just want to hightail it out of there and back into the shadows. He's going to see him. And then you can hug the side of the car here to go get him. She's really loving that uh, balls hit here. And then uh, just jump up. First time I ran through, I was wondering what the hell I was supposed to do because I didn't was looking for doors. And that's part one. See you guys in part two.